Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some wonderful creations from some of my channel members and announcing a special winner. I hope you'll stick around to find out more. Each month I get together with my interested die cut and paper trimmer level channel members for a little crafty fun. We usually switch it up each month with what the theme is and for February it was mystery card which if you're a channel member by now you know that just means we are going to be making the upcoming sheet load of cards. So at the very end of February I gave my channel members instructions to cut their pattern paper pieces and then on camera live I gave them instructions to put it together. It's just kind of a fun way to see the upcoming sheet load and get to make one on your own. Today I'll be sharing a look with you at what cards my channel members created, showing you what prizes they have to choose from, and then announcing the special winner. I'll also be telling you about an upcoming special event, so make sure to keep watching. Before I get to that, I did want to stop by with a special channel member shout out. I would like to say welcome and thank you to my newest paper trimmer level member, Antoinette Bay. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you as well to all of my channel members for helping to keep me creating here on YouTube and Sheetload of Cards free for all. If you're ever interested in joining us each month, you can become a die cut or paper trimmer level channel member by clicking on the join button below this video or checking out the link in my description box. When we do a mystery card for our monthly channel member live, I always make one myself while I'm giving the instructions. But just like with everyone else's, mine is a surprise until we all reveal at the end of the video. Here's a look at the card I created. I used some new goodies from Not Too Shabby and I stamped my sentiment on some vellum so you can still see the pattern paper behind it. And for some more decoration, I added a piece of teacup ephemera. As with most months, there is usually a prize to be won, whether it's one I give away live because we're just doing some crafty chit chat, or if there's a challenge that I invite my members to play along with. This month, of course, they made the mystery card and sent it to me in an email. So we will be taking a look at all of those. Before I show what the possible prizes are for that lucky channel member, let's go ahead and take a look at all of the cards that were entered this month.
Weren't all of those so fun? I just love to see them as they come in via my email and here all in one place. Thanks to everyone who took the time to make a card and send it in and good luck in the giveaway, which I'll announce that winner here in a minute. Before that, before I show you the prizes and announce the winner, I did want to take a minute to let you know about a special event this weekend, and that is the March Sheetload Live. I'm going to be getting together with two of my collaboration team members, Biddy Penny and Amalia, for some live crafting with the March 2024 Sheetload of Cards. I will have that video linked in the description box below and as an end card at the end of this video. So make sure to click on that and then set a reminder to join us. It's always lots of fun. And at the end of the live, we're going to be giving away one of each of the cards that we've made. Let's go ahead now and see what I pulled from my treasure box. The lucky winner will get to choose from the five prizes that are in front of me now. Some of them are seasonal, others I just pulled out of my treasure box because I thought they were fun. So let me give you an up close look. First is the all to new Quaint Blooms Outline Stamp Set. Then I have one of the stencils that I designed for Not Too Shabby called Striped Honeycomb. This was one of my favorites. From One Canoe 2, I have the Willow Acrylic Stamp Set. It has some images and some nice sentiments. With Easter coming up, I thought this Photo Play Stamp Stencil and Die Set would be a nice option. And finally, I have 3x4 watercolor panels and Easter confetti dies from Tailored Expressions. So after I announce the winner, since you did all email me your cards, I will reply and give you the good news. Then you can come watch this video and pick out the prize you would like to let me know. Should we go ahead and find out who the lucky winner is? Congratulations. Make sure to keep an eye on your inbox for a message from me. And thanks again to everyone who played along and for all of you for watching to the end of this video. If you had a fun time, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. And until my next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.